Good morning, Adventure Bros. This morning, I am headed to church. I'm actually headed to Sargent, Texas, and we are going to have a surf fishing adventure. We're going to go and drop some lines with the drone. I'm going to throw some soft plastics and maybe some top water in the surf if the conditions are right. And we're going to hope to catch maybe a shark, maybe a red, maybe a drum, maybe some trout. And just going to have a good time. So stay with us, stay tuned, and always remember to drive the speed limit. Alright bros, we have arrived. It's a little windy, serves a little choppy, but we are still going to make it happen. Here we are Adventure Bro in full effect. I just cast net three live mullet and we are gonna put that guy, oh, there he goes. We're gonna put that beautiful guy on this pole and throw it out there. I'm gonna hug him in the tail. my weight ready to go and let's go for a walk get this bucket and fill it up with water well it's not a bucket it's not a bucket but it now let's really get something going throw this lose laser TXS got this Z-man Texas jig head and I got a gulp paddle tail that we are going going to chunk and we're off. There was a hit, there was a hit. No, no, that wasn't a guy. I felt him though, I felt it. There's a difference between the hitting the bottom, hitting a wave, and that slight tap of a fish. Like 
that. Bring it around like that. And that allows me to actuate or activate the dropping or release function from the lights on my drone. Attach it to my swivel with enough line as to not get my drone tangled up. We've got the bait and we're gonna throw it out there. Get it over my head. Well guys, something came and got me on this. Still got the other one out. But something definitely came and got me on this. Let's look at him. It's a it's a black drum. Let me get a a picture for the people. Go oh, man, hold it up. Let the people see it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's something. Something's better than nothing. Nah. We're about to get the drop. Get the drop on. Everybody get your drop on. Everybody, everybody get your drop on. What? Everybody, everybody get your drop on. What? And now, fuck you, buy these shrimp from Walmart. HEB Fiesta. Fiesta. Man, we could have walked this shrimp when we got out here. You never buy shrimp in the city if you're gonna fish in the country. Buy shrimp from the country, because that's where they call it. Oh well. Wasn't my money. The one I have, it's a little more yeah, taut. Nah, I think that's just the wind now. It had pulled it a little consistent. You see it bouncing? Look at this monster trout! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! A trout! A trout! It's a huge trout! Hey! I saw something knock it loose and just run straight down the beach! Low battery. Trout. That's a mullet I had on there. God damn. Hey, that's a monster right there, cuz. 
Yeah, that's, that's a nice one. <laughs> I saw it though. I seen it. Adventure Bro. And look, Adventure Bro, back at it. Low battery alert. You'll see it. So, so you, uh, you saw your line go. I saw, yeah, because I had just, we were just talking about it. And then I looked back and it was all the way across my other pole. And so I just wanted to at least reel it in. I said yeah. something knocked it off. Yeah. I don't know if it's on there. But man, I just was walking down the beach because it was all the way in. So when you hit it, it didn't fight much? It just turned in the surf. Yeah. And at, by that point, it was on the beach. <laughs> wow, guys, that was the biggest trout I have ever caught in the surf. Let's see if we can get out there and get another one. And I'm about to drop the line out again with the drone drop the line with the drone drop 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 the line with the drone drop 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 the line with the drone drop the line with the drone 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 yeah i'm gonna try to cast this some more finger mullet <laughs> Be back. Not a singular thing. Look at all those. Look at all those. Whoa, come on, don't do that to me. I think I got something. Yep. I got him, boys. I got him, boys. <laughs> I got him. Come here. I got him a shark. I got a shark. And that That's actually it's a keeper. The same exact thing. On that I, this was the one I dropped with the drone. Yeah. I went over there I seen that it was like slack and was just walking down the beach. As soon as I got actually taut on the line, yeah. it started pulling. Well, all right, bros, we are done. These guys down there just pulled in a four foot sand shark. We finished the day with one speck of trout, one sand shark, a whiting and a black drum. Now we're gonna get home and we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook on sand shark. See you soon. Oh, here we go. We have discovered this was a Atlantic shark nose shark. I've already bled it, gutted it and made sure that it was ready for me when I got home. So we're gonna come in right here and cut above these gills, but below these fins. Let me get this head, get into that head. Get this cut. And this shark is tough. So if you can get a, a really good knife and get under that that first layer of skin, you hear that? That's all that that skin. That's really really tough. I'm gonna ahead and cut that off. Move that over here. And I'm just gonna show you one side today. So we're just gonna get in there and shark. 
they don't really have a bone. It's just some cartilage. So it's gonna be like any other fish, except you don't want to go through that back. You have to be very careful. And this meat is white. See, I'm almost going through the bag. You've got to be very careful because it's cartilage, guys. You could chomp through it. Do the famous flip. And that's white meat right there. And we're doing shark filet. All right, so I'm just going to put that there. Move it, work it back and forth. Let me cut this piece off because that's just going to get in our way. And there we have our shark fillet. I'll clean it up just a little bit. Not too much. Just get that belly meat off of there. And there we have a shark filet. Now I'm gonna piece it down and I believe we are gonna make shark fish tacos. So after you clean your shark, what you're gonna wanna do before you cook it is actually put it in a bowl of milk for 24 hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish filleting that shark and then I'm gonna fillet this monster. Guys, that was a great catch. The shark was on the drone, but this I waited out and threw out a live mullet that I cast net. And man, when I tell you, it was unexpected because he swam to shore. Both these fish, they swam to shore. I'm gonna get this other side of the shark cleaned up, get this trout filleted, and we'll see you over there in the kitchen. All right, guys, we are back in the kitchen. We're going to cook up these shark fillets. Now, I've had these marinating in milk for the past about 24, 25, about 30 hours. And that's just to get that urea out of the, the meat. So these are the marinated or soaked fillets. And we're gonna do a simple seasoning on them. And we're gonna do it two ways, we're gonna Fry half of them and in a simple cornmeal batter. And then we're gonna also put the other half in the air fryer. So what we're gonna do is have my man, Cayenne, some parsley flakes, onion powder, garlic salt, and your mama gonna get slapped. So we'll go ahead and pop the seal on this brand new Slap Your Mama. And we're not gonna season them too much because we want the flavor of the fish to shine through. So just lightly sprinkling. Here goes my man, Cayenne. garlic salt onion powder parsley flakes Pete. 
Your mom got slapped. Go ahead, you know what the deal is. grocery store that I've never seen before some type of bell pepper and place our pepper and fillets into the pan for the air fryer our fillets and here go our peppers then we're going to drop that in the air fryer 400 degrees for 9 to 10 minutes Now that's going, we're going to coat a light coating our other pieces of shark in our cornmeal base. No seasoning to the cornmeal, it's just going to give it a crisp outer, outer layer. Also got what we're gonna put on our tacos, a secret sauce. So let's go ahead and bring this over to the fryer. We're just gonna lay these in there. And let them cook. back when it's finished all right while well, these pieces of shark are cooking finishing up I got this tortilla that I'm getting some, some color to want to get them crispy crackly and crunchy tortillas are done our fried shark is done in our air fries Ooh, look at that goodness gracious that is done as well so we'll go ahead and move these over here so we can get some plating business some plating action going on Hello. Alright, so we've got a tortilla. What we're gonna do 
is have a bed of this slaw for where is my father's day? I don't know that green show my shit. Brandon, you about to get this no, out, bro. bro I won't eat it. Brandon, man. I won't eat shut it. up. I won't eat it, bro. I swear I won't eat that shit. That shit remind me of avocado. Anything green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that shit on my top of that green sauce. Man. That's what that is, that green Brandon, sauce. Brandon, hush! I'm recording. Well, they gonna know who I am. We're back. Had some technical difficulties. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get a fork. Gonna take our shark out. And make a full fish taco. I'm gonna put some of these peppers on there and a few jalapenos. Let's see, a little bit of cilantro. And can't forget a bit of lemon juice. And that's one taco. Now for the air fried, or for the actual pan fried, we're gonna do that same base of coleslaw gonna get this secret cilantro sour cream base jalapeno relish sauce I'm gonna take a piece of our fried shark and lay it in there oh that looks good oh I'm about to taste this More jalapenos. And a little bit of that cilantro. This is what we're working with. And give me one second. I'm gonna make everybody else's plate and we'll be back for the taste. Alright, we've got Nikki and Brandon having a taste. What do you guys think? Delicious, man. Compliments to the chef. Okay. That's shark, though. That's shark. Can't tell, right? It just tastes like fish, huh? Tastes like fish, man. It's shark, fish, don't matter. It's good. It's good. <laughs> shark, fish, it doesn't matter. It's good. I'm going to go ahead and get to enjoying mine, and can't wait to see you guys on our next adventure. This has been the Adventure Bro Show. Signing out.